Thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to be flying from DFW Airport out to Telluride in our Airbus A320. Is that what it is? We got the Ferrari paint job going on. Yeah, it's a nice Ferrari red. We'll be taking off shortly. Thanks for tuning in. My name is GoTo10. I play classic and modern games on the consoles, on the PC. All kinds of stuff. You might catch me playing Duke Nukem 3D. Who wants some? Or you might catch me playing uh, Rocket League. I might be showing off the latest uh, Amazon Luna games. Or Google Stadia, because I've got that stuff too. Just in case you're curious. I got the Game Pass service. I got the Ubisoft Plus service. I gave up on the EA service. <laughs> and not only because they don't have many games I want to play but also because they're integrating into other services, I noticed. So I'll, I'll, I'll get there, yay. I'll get to you, Madden. But for now, we're checking out Flight Simulator 2020. We're about to be taking off in our gigantic Airbus. Look out below. Does anybody know how to fly this thing? We'll figure it out. Hey, thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoy the show. Okay. Here we go. And we're now at DFW Airport. Yeah. So let's let everything load in. There is going to be some uh, stuttering and choppiness here as everything downloads and loads in. good in our Airbus A320 here at DFW Airport. We've got the Ferrari paint job. It's Ferrari red. Let's go ahead and say that we are, I think we're ready to fly. We're still getting things ready. We're still booting up the airport. <laughs> Let's go ahead and say ready to fly.
Okay, here we go. Let's go ahead and zoom out just a little bit. There we go. I feel like we're sitting right on the dash. Let's sit up in our seats like big boys. Yeah. There we go. That's a little bit better. That's even better. Let's take a look at the outside of the plane and see what we're working with. We're on our way. Headed out of DFW. Regional Looks approach like we're headed what? To the northeast, I believe. Let's check the map one more time. Let's bring the map up. Yeah. Now we're headed northeast to Telluride. Let's put the map away. Looks like Grapevine Lake right there that we're passing over, or is it? Yeah, I believe that is. So it's loading in data as we go. The stuttering that you may see every once in a while is more than likely the streaming in of new data. Appreciate everybody tuning in. Appreciate all the new followers. My name is Go to Ten. I play classic and modern games across all consoles, just about. Just about. I don't have the Ouya. 
I got rid of my on live. Still looking for the 3DO. Maybe I got a 3DO.
Temperature, 12C dew point, 13C altimeter, 2992. Two. Tango Alpha 25 automated weather observation, 1600 Zulu. Wind, 266 at tree. Visibility, Niner. Sky condition, clear. Temperature, 12C dew point, 13C altimeter, 2992. Two. Tango Alpha 25 automated weather observation, 1600 Zulu. Wind, 266 at tree. Visibility, Niner. Sky condition, clear. Temperature, 12C dew point, 13C altimeter, 2992. Tango Alpha 25 automated weather observation, 1600 Zulu. Wind, 266 at tree. Visibility, Niner. Sky condition, clear. Temperature, 12C dew point, 13C altimeter, 2992. Tango Alpha 25 automated weather observation, 1600 Zulu. Wind, 266 at tree. Visibility, Niner. Sky condition, clear. Temperature, 12C dew point, 13C altimeter, 2992. Tango Alpha 25 automated weather observation, 1600 Zulu. Wind, 266 at tree. Visibility, Niner. Sky condition, clear. Temperature, 12C dew point, 13C altimeter, 2992. Tango Alpha 25 automated weather observation, 1600 Zulu. Wind, 266 at tree. Visibility, Niner. Sky condition, clear. Temperature, 12C dew point, 13C altimeter, 2992. Tango Alpha 25 automated weather observation, 1600 Zulu. Wind, 266 at tree. Visibility, Niner. Sky condition, clear. Temperature, 12C dew point, 13C altimeter, 2992. Regional approach, generic November, 6200 Victor is at 3700 feet, climbing 4900 feet. Tango Alpha 25 automated weather observation, 1600 Zulu. Wind, 266 at tree. Visibility, Niner. Sky condition, clear. Temperature, 12C dew point, 13C altimeter, 2992. Regional approach. Continue to PRNCK as planned. Altimeter 29 decimal 902. Tango Alpha 25 automated weather observation 1600 Zulu. Wind 265 at tree. Visibility Niner. Sky condition clear. Temperature 12C dew point. 13C altimeter 29902. Tango Alpha 25 automated weather observation 1600 Zulu. Wind 265 at tree. Visibility Niner. Sky condition clear. Temperature 12C dew point. 13C altimeter 29992. Tango Alpha 25 automated weather observation 1600 Zulu. Wind 265 at tree. Visibility Niner. Sky condition clear. Temperature, 12C dew point, 13C altimeter, 2992. Tango Alpha 25 automated weather observation, 1600 Zulu. Wind, 265 at tree. Visibility, Niner. Sky condition, clear. Temperature, 12C dew point, 13C altimeter, 2992. Tango Alpha 25 automated weather observation, 1600 Zulu. Wind, 265 at tree. Visibility, Niner. Sky condition, clear. Temperature, 12C dew point, 13C altimeter, 2992. Tango Alpha 25 automated weather observation, 1600 Zulu. Wind, 265 at tree. Visibility, Niner. Sky condition, clear. Temperature, 12C dew point, 13C altimeter, 29992. Tango Alpha 25 automated weather observation, 1600 Zulu. Wind, 265 at tree. Visibility, Niner. Sky condition, clear. Temperature, 12C dew point, 13C altimeter, 29992. Airbus or Foxtrot Echo Yor, leaving my airspace radar service. Terminated. Squawk 1200.
formation 1600 Zulu. Wind 265 to the tree. Visibility Niner. Sky condition clear. Temperature 12C dew point. One tree C altimeter 2992. Airbus 4 Fox Trot Echo. Did you copy? Tango Alpha 25 automated weather observation 1600 Zulu. Wind 265 for the tree. Visibility Niner. Sky condition clear. Temperature 12C dew point. 1 tree C altimeter 2992. Squawk 1200. Frequency change approved Airbus 4 Foxtrot Echo. Tango Alpha sent to Airbus November 2 tree 4 Foxtrot Echo is tight Airbus A20 and 11 miles east of Tango Echo 55. Visibility Request Niner. flight following. Sky condition. Airbus November 2 tree 4 Foxtrot Echo FD Earth Center. Squawk 1701. American 1361 contact FD Earth Center on 127 decibel zero. Squawk 1701 Airbus 4 Foxtrot Echo. Airbus 4 Foxtrot Echo radar contact 8 miles east of Tango Echo 558,500 feet. Altimeter 2 Niner Decimal Niner 2. 127 Decimal 0 American 1361. Copy Airbus 4 Foxtrot Echo. Envoy 4241 is out of flight level, 245 for 4,000 feet. Envoy 500 feet. Airbus November, 234 Foxtrot, Echo FT Worth Center, continue as planned. Altimeter, 29 decimal 9 or 2. Airbus November 234 Foxtrot Echo 8500 feet. Airbus November 234 Foxtrot Echo Shepard approach. Continue as planned. Altimeter 29 decimal 9 or 2.
Echo, contact Shepard approach on 118.2. 118 decimal 2 for Airbus 4 Foxtrot Echo. Shepard approach Airbus November 2 Tree 4 Foxtrot Echo 8500 feet. Airbus November 2 Tree 4 Foxtrot Echo Shepard approach continue as planned. Altimeter 29er decimal 9 or 2. Airbus November 234 Foxtrot Echo 8500 feet. Airbus November 234 Foxtrot Echo Altus approach continue as planned. Altimeter 29 or decimal 9 or 2. Joe Cassiano. What's going on, man? I just noticed you. I'm actually, I'm actually doing some repairs around the house today. Yesterday it was a water heater. Today, today, Joe, the real fun. Today I'm changing out a toilet seal. I know, forget it. <laughs> forget I said it. But yeah, man, this is the Ferrari styled 
Airbus A320. I dig it. Let's hop in the uh, cockpit. Hold on. Here we are. Here we are. I still think I'm a little low in the seat here. That's a little bit better there. Wait, hold tight there. Appreciate you stopping by, Joe. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. My name's GoTo10. I play classic and modern games across all systems. PC, consoles, Oculus Quest, you name it. We do it all. Amazon Luna, even. Are you curious about those streaming services out there? Well, stay tuned. Give me a follow. We play all kinds of Amazon Luna, Google Stadia. Later today, we're going to have an Age of Empires marathon. We're going to be playing Age of Empires for about four hours. So, yeah, tune in. My fiance and I... We uh, team up and we play against the uh, robot AI. And we found a map we really like, so we wouldn't really pummeling them. So, that ring, I've done that one too. <laughs> I'm less excited about changing this ring than I am changing that water heater out, man. And that water heater was, it wasn't tough. But I mean, you know, you gotta lug it, you gotta empty it out and lug it around and all that crap. And this, it's really just the process of changing out this ring isn't so bad. But if you know what the hell is involved in that ring, <laughs> I'm gonna have to wash myself in bleach. <laughs> so, yeah, man, I'm popping in and out here. We're flying on the way to tell your ride from DFW. Let's see where we're at so far. We've just been about 30 minutes into this ride, it's gonna take about a couple of hours. Let's see, yeah, we are headed on our way. Man, where the heck are we? <laughs> oh, here we are. They already lost us. Let's see, we've been going for 30 minutes now, and uh, I say it's going to take two hours. Yeah, it's going to take a couple hours. So, yeah, I'll be popping in and out. I'm monitoring the stream also, so appreciate you tuning in, man. God, I remember... I, okay, my dad, I remember watching my dad do all kinds of handyman work, and he was, you know, we didn't, ha he didn't have YouTube. So what did you do back in the day, Joe? You know what the, what our dads did? Or, it, they bought those Time Life books. Or or they were, you know, handymen naturally or whatever, but if they didn't know what the heck, you know, like, like nowadays, if there's something I don't know how to do, I'm hopping on YouTube, and I'm watching about 10 videos from 10 different angles of 10 different people doing it. And then I'm saying, okay, this is about the best idea I think I've got. My dad had this library of Time Life books, and I remember him changing out that damn ring one time, and it was the nastiest. I thought it was a pit to hell. I thought it was a hole to hell. It was the nastiest thing I'd ever seen. And I remember I was thinking, that's the best that they can come up with? Like, just a nasty wax ring just thrown there on the ground? But I mean, I guess... Hey, you come up with a better idea, knucklehead. I think that's what my dad said. But yeah, he... <laughs> my dad, he would use those Time Life books for small projects, and then he would also use them for... Uh, like he, he damn near rebuilt his whole house using those things. He put a, uh, he put a second floor on that house <laughs> using those Time Life books. I remember knocking down the walls with him. I was like, what the hell are we doing, Dad? We're knocking out this wall, and we're going to put a closet in. Okay. And he had his damn time life books just laid out. Okay. Nowadays, I'd watch a few, again, I'd just watch a few YouTube videos. Yeah. We do have it easy. Nowadays, I can't even, I can't even brag. Like, I changed out that water heater. I remember I was at Home Depot. We were checking out at Home Depot yesterday with the water heater. And this older guy, he... When we were checking out and lugging it in towards the car, he goes, "You guys need help changing that out." I said, "I said no. I think we've got it. I, I got the old one out. So uh, getting this one in is probably just going to reverse the process. There's a couple of gotchas. I think we've got it. And I can't take too much pride in that because if only he knew. He, you know, he probably. Meant, I know he didn't mean any offense. He's probably just an old head who knows how to do that stuff because he was taught." Like like a handyman, you know, I mean like a like a craft, 
Whereas I just watched about you know, 10 YouTube videos and hey man, I, I got it. Poor guys. And so I can't too take too much pride in it because you know it's not like I learned from experience or it was passed down or anything like that. I mean, in a way, I guess you know we're passing down experience amongst the collective, which is hey, as long as it gets changed out, as long as things are getting fixed, that's all Lisa really cares about. <laughs> that's the important thing, right, Joe? As long as the women are happy, hey, hot water in that shower, babe, you got it. Toilets leaking all over the dang gum floor, let's fix that. We can do that. Y'all go shopping. <laughs> Y'all get out of the house for a little bit because it's going to get gross. <laughs> Be safe, brother. Wear a mask and glasses. Don't want that stuff in your eyes or mouth. No, I don't, man. Glasses, good one. Yeah, I have a mask. All right, hey, Joe, thanks for tuning in, man. If you go live later on on Twitch, I'll be keeping an eye out for you. I saw you playing that hunting game, or maybe it was your son playing again. I was able to catch it for a little bit. That looks pretty cool, man. Yep, happy wife, happy life. It, it all comes back. I've learned that. You know, you take care of folks, and then folks take care of you. So that's good stuff. Hey, thanks for tuning in, Joe. I'll be back.
Thank you. 
Albuquerque Center on 127 Decimal 85. 127 Decimal 85 Airbus 4 Foxtrot Echo. Albuquerque Center Airbus November 23 4 Foxtrot Echo 8500 feet. Airbus November 23 4 Foxtrot Echo Albuquerque Center continue as planned. Altimeter 200 Decimal 902.